Hello, this is John Kenalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. We're trying to describe, it's kind of difficult to do in writing, a uh, presentation we have at this upcoming um, uh, ESRS meeting that was supposed to be in Amsterdam. It's going to be virtual. Uh, we've described in extent our TMR concept using topography and topography guided ablations to tweak the amount and axis of astigmatism. Unless you run into topographies like this, see how irregular this topography is, not significant as far as keratoconus, etc. But there's a lot of regularity in the surface. We're going to go and uh, look at the uh, epithelial maps. And again, the epithelium is a little bit funny looking here. And the reason is, let's look at the eyelid. Uh, this patient is a contact lens wearer, has significant uh, giant papillary conjunctivitis, as you can see here. Uh, and the surface is not, in our opinion, that that will allow us to treat topography guided. But we want to use, let's go back to the topographic maps, uh, the Placido disc maps. It is compelling that this is the actual astigmatism in that patient. The patient refracts to a minus 125 astigmatism, significant myopia, minus 375, but topography suggests that the astigmatism is less, and it is indeed less, despite the noise. So in this case, we're going to uh, go away from optimized and use the lessons learned from TMR and topography-guided ablation, um, and uh, we're going to dial in the refraction, so minus uh, 375, and now instead of minus 120, 125 of astigmatism, at um, 115 degrees, but we're going to change that. We're going to make that at 120 degrees. That was the astigmatism of the, uh, we're going to go to 120 degrees. That is the astigmatism of the topography device. And now here on our uh, final data, we're going to reduce the amount of astigmatism to the, uh, we're going to split the difference. So instead of 125, versus the minus 0 0.32 that the uh, topography suggested, we're gonna go halfway and treat mi minus 0 0.75. So we're gonna treat minus 0 0.25, so less astigmatism, we're gonna add the difference to the myopia. So our final treatment will be this, instead of minus 375, minus 125, at, it was 115, at 120, we're gonna do a wafer optimized treatment, with minus uh, four, treating more myopia, uh, minus uh, 0.75 in astigmatism, thank you, at 120 degrees. So this is, in a way, a TMR, topography modified refraction, not in a topography guided ablation, but in a way for an optimized ablation, um, and taking into consideration all the factors that we saw before, this uh, map, that in our opinion is a result of the uh, noise that the GPC and the blepharitis gives to the patient. This could have been also a map in a patient with map dot dystrophy, uh, through basement membrane dystrophy with all these unstable entities in the cornea. And thus um, our peripheral treatment here would have been a surface ablation instead of LASIK. Hope you found this informative. This is some of the very uh, strenuous work we're doing to customize treatment for each individual patient. And since now we're in the era of ray tracing and using Innovise in all patients, this, was, this would obviously be an exclusion for us uh, of using the wavefront maps that are, are measured through this cornea and the um, tomography maps measured in this cornea. And again, uh, if this was a Innovise or a ray tracing um, LASIK or PRK candidate, we would choose here to treat the uh, wafer optimized and tweaking the refraction according to the topographic data. This is John Kanlopoulos. Thanks so much for watching, uh, signing out.